Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. The YOLO Box Ultra is getting the two. 7.4 update. There's quite a bit to cover in this update, so let's not waste any time and dive right in. Background music is the highlight of this YOLO Box Ultra update. We've introduced a dedicated control area for background music. Using this feature is super easy. First, copy your prepared background music files to an SD card or USB drive, then tap Add in the top right corner where you'll see your stored music files. Select the background music you want to add and it will appear in this list. Tap the track and it will start playing. If the volume is too loud or too soft, just tap the little speaker icon next to background music and adjust the slider to control the volume. Additionally, in the bottom right corner, you'll find playback options like playlist loop, single track loop, and shuffle play. When you need to turn a two-person shot into two separate single shots like this, the video source duplication feature works perfectly. After adding your video source, just click on the replicate button in the top right corner of the video source and you'll get two identical sources. Keep in mind that the duplicated video source will have all the same features as the original, including the options in the gear icon. After that, you just need to crop each video source individually. In the new version, the video source transition feature is no longer an option in settings, but instead, it's now a feature with its own dedicated control area. As you can see, the controls remain the same. Things like the fade to black button, various transition animations, and the duration of those transitions. One thing to note is that the settings you apply here will affect all video sources. So, if you only want a few video sources to have more dramatic transitions, for the video source where you want to add a transition, click the gear icon in the top right corner, select Transition Action, and turn off Follow the System Settings. This way, you can set a specific transition and duration just for that one video source. The new version of YOLOBOX Ultra also introduces the MultiView Out feature which allows you to output and display multiple video sources on the same output device. This way, I can view and control multiple video sources at the same time, making the operation more efficient. We've reorganized the different ways HDMI out is supported. In addition to multi-view out, you can now also see program out and mirror out. Program out is designed to send a clean live stream feed to another device, while Mirror Out sends the entire interface, including the live stream feed and the control dashboard, to another device. Next, let's take a look at MultiView Out. Click the small red gear on the right, and depending on the number of video sources, you'll have several MultiView layout options. It supports up to 16 video sources in MultiView Out. After selecting the layout that fits your needs, click Done. When you connect your device's video sources to a display via HDMI cable in MultiView Out, you'll get a result like this. It's always frustrating to realize halfway through a live stream that you forgot to start recording. To help with this, we've added a small feature to the Go Live button, the Recording While Streaming toggle. This way, even if you accidentally forget to record, you'll get a prompt and a quick way to start recording as soon as you press the Go Live button. We've also optimized the directory structure for recording files. In the new version, recorded video files are automatically organized into a single folder. The folder name includes the event title of the live stream and the recording time, making it much easier for you to find your files later. In the old version, the arrangement of options in the settings menu was quite messy. In the new version, we've reorganized these options to make them more intuitive. First, we move the most frequently used features, streaming mode and streaming encoding settings, to the top. Next, we've combined video source layout and video switching control into one category called video source settings and combined local video switching and local videos play mode into a single new option called local video settings. Lastly, we've separated HDMI out and USB-C out for better clarity. The new version supports adding one web page as a video source, a feature many users have been asking for on the YOLO Box Ultra. It's super easy to use. Just open web in the video source menu, enter the web page URL, 
like I'll do now by typing in the YOLO Live website and tap down. That's it. You'll see the web page successfully added to the video source backend. To interact with the web page, tap the finger icon. Once in this mode, you can scroll through the page, click on links to access other web pages, or use the buttons in the bottom left corner to navigate back or forward between pages. You can also zoom in and out of the page. To exit this mode, simply press the arrow icon. So let's talk about the update to the YOLO deck buttons. We've added a new batch of YOLO deck buttons, and you can see all the new buttons from this update in the demo image. This includes buttons for features like auto switch, music play mode, transitions, scoreboard timer, PTZ, and more. You don't need to update YOLO deck separately. It's included as part of the YOLO Box Ultra firmware updates. This update also brings many detailed optimizations. We've added a drop-down menu where you can adjust the screen brightness and headphone volume as well as monitor the network and Bluetooth connection status, CPU usage, memory usage, device temperature, and battery level. You can also see the parameters of the live stream that's currently running on the device. In the old version, scrolling text only supported one direction for scrolling. Now scrolling text supports bi-directional scrolling. You can choose different scrolling directions in the scrolling text settings. In addition, the new style of the audio mixer is back. In terms of bug fixes, we fixed the frame duplication issue caused by PIP, resolved the problem of blurry guest sources in custom multi-view, and improved the stability of the replay function. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLOLIV, you can contact us via email at contact at yololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86133058135322. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86133058135322. Thank you for watching this video.